I'm, 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 I'm going to ask the dirty question. Go on. Would I buy this car for half a million pound? Well, Croesoy Canel with North Road Garage, Bilth Wells, Catre, Ian Pritchard, or Jason Pritchard, a collection of Cair and Hagol and Bead Rallyer. Hevid Hedio, my GR Tour, my new 30 or Yaris GRs, I'm in Round Cymru, I'm Spinbach. A bobble to the Prinny Cair, the Kel Gwahaviad, the Dodi Bilth, the Mindam Spin. So look out, GR and Bob Man. Oh, I'll leave you in. Scott Williams, can you see GR, Ois? Oh, sir. Ah, what a take, you see. I'm good then. Oh, yeah, good car as a uh, car. sporty driver. Car and cutting license? I don't know, I've always taken the limits from sir. Oh, it's? Ah, I've been good boy. Now, what's going on today then? Best of my line, how do you? Huh? Da ba boa, perchanog. Ian Pritchard, welcome. Welcome, Howard. Thank you very yes. much. Yeah. Fantastic to be here. And a good turnout to GRs for the GR Tour. Yes, excellent. Yeah, fantastic. Very pleased. Yeah. How many have you sold? It's a secret. Yeah, quite a lot. <laughs> quite, quite a lot. lot. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. But um, we'd like to talk about these uh, two wonderful cars here now, because these have been in your possession for some years, haven't they? And there's a massive history to these two cars. That's right. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about uh, about Cossack. What is she? P 00505R. Yes. Yeah. And you've had this a long time, but this is the actual car that. Roger Clark and Stuart Pegg won the RAC in 1976. That's correct, yeah. But you didn't get it in this, in this format, did you? No, I didn't. What was it like when you had it? Well, the car, uh, it won the 76 RAC right. with Roger. It then went and, and won Galway, and it went back to Ford then, and it was used there, different things, testing. And Bourne Waldegard used the car. It was used by Roger in 78 um, and 77. It did Donegal as well and the engine let go in Donegal. But in 78, he did some of the BRC rounds in it. Right. But then in 79, um, it was reshelled into a left-hand drive, new shell, and Bourne Waldegard used it in the World Rally Championship. Right, so, so it's got a fair bit of history then. Yes, yes. So, 86, you bought it, and you used it then as a, as a, as a rally car for your own use and was like, quite successful in it. Yes. But then, after how many years did you did you take it back and have it completely rebuilt back into the into the 76 winning car? Well, I, I put it as the 79. We right. restored it as, as it was a 79 spec car. Right. Because it's considerably different between the 76 and the 79. Right. But about six years ago, seven years ago, I decided uh, it was time it was put back. Because obviously as things... It, as, th it, as, it, as it started... Things have moved on, haven't they? Oh, yes. I mean, an interesting yeah. observation I've seen straight away is there's a carpet in it. Yes. Because that was in 76, 79, they, they had, had to have carpets. They had to have all the trim, headlining, carpets, everything. Headlining as well? Yeah. Yeah. And, it is too. and these these sort of old-fashioned sort of stock bucket seats as well. Yeah, yeah, is that are those the actual seats that they the, used, or they've been re, uh, recovered? No, these? no, those are actual seats that I had with the car, uh, right. the, the old uh, Recaros. Recaros. Yeah. Before I took this job on, there was a lot of research done, yeah. and a good friend of mine, Ford historian, uh, Dave Watkins, did a majority right. of the work on the car. Right. And Dave Watkins is based in Yorkshire. In Yorkshire. Yeah. A box and box and box of, uh, of stories and, and, and the history on these cars, isn't there? I've spent quite a lot of money on photographs. On photographs. Can we have a look under the bonnet? Yep. This is the, 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 the older... Um, pull cable. Pull cable to stop the engine in the event it's an of... It's choke cable of a Yeah, old oh, choke cable. Even the, the Cossack thing across the windscreen, very old-fashioned sunstrip, isn't it? That's right. Push button there, you didn't see that. No, in those days they had to have a secondary... Secondary catch. And one thing you'll notice here is the four headlamps as well, yes. which I've never seen before. It was only done for that particular rally. Why? Nobody knows. Somebody and... in Ford thought it'd be a good idea. Yeah, yeah. So this would be a... Being a Borum car, it would be a Terry Hoyle engine, yeah? No, Brian Hart. Brian Hart. Brian Hart engine, yeah. And as you can see, there's, there's twin servos on the car. Yeah, look at this servo up here. Why, what's, why is that up there, then? Well, in, the no, in, in those days, you see, there was no pace notes. They had drove off the maps. Off the maps, blind. So they wanted a car that was light and responsive. Yes. In all ways, including the brakes, and quite easy to drive. So they need to be on the brakes pretty heavy. Yes, when they did, because they were driving blind, you see. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask the dirty question. Go on. 
would I buy this car for half a million pound? Uh, I've been offered a substantial amount of money many times for it, to be honest. So yeah. the answer is no, then? Um, when it's gone, it's gone. When it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's only worth what somebody's willing it to pay. It is probably one of the most special. It's I, the one that everybody would like to have. I know, I know Malcolm Wilson's bid you on it, didn't he? Yes, many years ago. But it, 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 I think it's the most famous Mark II in the world. Because Roger Clark, a lot of people uh, were inspired by him to go into rallying in this country. I know one thing that really irritates you is you, when you see replicas of this car with that number plate on. But you have that number plate and you have that logbook. I've taxed it, I've insured it, I've MOT'd it, you know, since 1986. Fantastic. The paperwork's all, all at home. This is a special piece of British motorsport history, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And then, let's move on. This is a 1980... No, 1979 1979 special. car built by MCD, which were based up in, up in um, the win in Winness. Winness yes. Run by a guy called Jeff Fielding. That's right. And this is the actual car that Louise Aiken Walker won the Peter Russick Manuals Rally, which was the Swansea Bay, yes. in 82? Oh, Howard, you've asked me a question. I'm not sure, Alan. We'll have to check that in the history, but, but, but this, she's the only woman to have won a, a, a national rally, isn't she? Yes. And that was one of her most successful events as well. Yes. Now, the difference, I mean, when you talked about the, 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 the difference in the cars, this, the, the wheel latches here are higher up the body than on that car. That's right. Um, because to, to alter the centre of gravity to make the car handle better, yeah? That's right. So this is a much more advanced car. There's quite a bit of difference here, Howard. Um, the later cars, the, the Sutton era and MCD era, they were all seam welded, whereas the Clark car was seam brazed. Seam brazed, yeah. Which is the nicest car to drive? Oh, this one. This one, it's an easier car to drive, yeah. I guess. Is yeah, it? yeah, yeah. No, it's an easier car to drive, yeah. Yeah. Very, very different inside, isn't it, again, yes. you know? Updated, more modern. There's little trick bits done to this one. The prop shaft tunnel was raised. Isn't the, the wheelbase actually stretched out a little bit on this car as well? Yeah. So that's what they did in, um, yeah. in, with the Monte Carlo the cars, Monte Carlo. wasn't it? That's right. The yeah. Monte Carlo cars, they, they moved the well, whole the wheelbase last forward. Mark IIs that bore and built the Monte Carlo cars. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Beautiful to see two fantastic cars uh, in uh, in one place, and you yeah. know it is, it is you, really nice. Yeah. It's a tribute to you, fair play. And you've your life has been Mark Westcott, isn't it? When you were on the corner in the little garage there, you used to hire road rally cars out. And that's how we, me, that's we you met. And I met yes. so you, I used to go on my way home from Cardiff, stop for fuel, and so look at the it's in the garage, Pritch. What's on with this weekend? And yeah, yeah fantastic. <laughs> never shared a car though, have we? No, no, no. Maybe one day. You never know, are we? <laughs> Well, Jace, been in this, have you? I'm afraid to drive it, but I've, uh, since I was a little boy, I've been sat in it as a... Yeah, it's been in the family longer than I've been born, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. This is your toy, though. Yeah. You close him down now. Yeah, that one's my P00. That's yeah. part of my family. Yeah. Is this the most successful car you've had? Yes, yeah, the car I've had the longest. Um, we've had it 10 years now. Hired it the first year and um, crashed it, so I ended up buying it. Um, and we've won three British Historic Championships in a row of it. So it's, uh, it's been a good car for me, and as I say, um, it's part of my family, so uh, I want to keep hold of it. Yeah, yeah. And what's, what's, what is special about this car? Because it's, it's, um, it's a left-hand drive as well, isn't it? which takes a bit of getting used to, oh, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I'd rather myself drive left than drive to right. It's more natural yeah. for me. Um, and when was this actually built then? This was probably built about 15 years ago by, right. by John O'Connor. Right. And what well, he doesn't know about a Mark II, no, yeah, it's not yeah, worth yeah. knowing. He's from Dave Sutton's uh, year Exactly, he built them for that and then everything. So it's, it's got did, a good Did Gwyneth drive this car before you? Yeah, so before I drove it, there was um, Stig one with it. Uh, I think Gwyneth won with it. Petter drove it, and then I've had it since. So, uh, yeah, it had good oh, history. Yeah, no pressure. I had a bit of pressure <laughs> to start with, yeah. <laughs> But and you drove this now recently, like a couple of weeks ago, on the uh, North Wales stages? Yeah, so yeah. this year, the main aim is the RAC, as many others. So yeah. we've got two cars. We've got this one, and then Scott Williams Motorsport are building us a new car, 
right. um, like they did last time, ready for the RAC right. end of the year. So this is all building up to the RAC yeah. in the Scott Williams car. Yeah, so historic car, gonna that's going to be again, yeah? Yeah, historic car. Obviously, you can't really change much from what it is. You, you, you know your spec. You, you know everything that you want in a car then, do you? You know how, how what, what suspension yeah. you want, what brakes, where you want the bias and all exactly. that. Exactly. I've grown up around Mark IIs, as you can see. Um, Dad used to run higher amount, as you know, from when you were at college, just calling at the garage on your way home. Talking so. to a couple of people who've driven Mark II's recently, they reckon it's, it's hard work, like, it's, it's all about... It's, yeah. it's, it's, there's a You've lot going be... on, like... Yeah, the, th the thing is, the first time I drove this at the start of the year, I hadn't driven it for 12, 18 months of Mark II, and the arm pump I got straight away, and you just forget. Um, but you get a few miles under your belt and your adrenaline's going... And and you... But you've been lucky enough to drive this fantastic car as well. Now this, yep. tell us what this is. This is a... Fiesta Super 2. What year? Uh, so these would have been around 2010, 2011. And this is a sort of different car completely because this is a, a normally aspirated two-litre four-wheel drive. Basically, it's a world tin. rally car without a turbo. Yes. Everything like this can bolt off you and straight onto a world. But it Fiesta. sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a real high rev in. When we started up yesterday, it just gets your buzz going. It's, it's like a Mark II. Yeah. The way I describe it, it's a more than Mark II. More than Mark II. And is it like a Mark II to drive, or no. is it easier to drive? No, it, it's quite hard to drive like a Mark II. You've got to get it by the scruff of the neck yeah. and, and yeah. take hold of it. And does the non-turbo engine generate enough power to be able to work the four-wheel drive system yeah. well enough? Yeah, as I say, if, if you're in too high a gear, a couple of gears too high, um, it's obviously it's going to go wrong. It's a sequential but, box. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got everything. Fun. No, everything, as you can see, we're all sat really low. Um, you can't even see the wiper blades when you're sat in it. Right. Everything's, it's, it's, it's a proper bit of kit, and um, the last time we used it, we were beating the latest Rally 2 cars and swapping times with them. And so. this, this ended up coming from the Dubai. Far East somewhere, didn't it? Yeah, so originally... What's this, the history on this, then? So this was originally one of two cars for Abu Dhabi, because they sponsored the Rally yes, Ford yes, Rally team yes. at the time. Not many people knew about this car because Khaled Al Qasimi only used it twice. Right. Um, and um, M Sport knew we went to the Super 2. So me and an M Sport technician flew out to Dubai for the day, looked at the car, got it fired up, and uh, brought it back to the UK. Full of sand? There's a bit of dust in there, <laughs> yeah. Still finding a bit of uh, uh, dust in it. But so. the, 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 the most successful car for me. I associate Jason Pritchard with is the Ford Focus WRC car, the 2005 car, yeah. which was uh, an ex sort of um, Marco Martin car, wasn't it? That, yeah. that era. That's not here, unfortunately, because that's in bits with uh, um, Paul, Paul Ben, ben up, yeah. in, up, in, Cumbria. up in Cumbria. But you had a lot of success in that car. Yeah, again, just like that, that and this Mark II are probably my most successful cars. Um, we've won five Manx national rallies on it, the only one to win three in a row. We won three national tarmac championships with it. So yeah, when the Pro Tire Series is with it, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's a good car, still capable of going out and winning, just like this car behind us. Um, so it's and when that comes back from Paul Ben, what's the plan? No plans for it now, because at the moment it's just the RAC focus this year. Um, but again, it's it's not many. There's only about half a dozen proper 05 cars. Ours was actually built uh, in 2009. Uh, Malcolm had a customer in Jamaica that wanted a car, so. Um, you got one together and it went there to the handful of events and we've had it ever since. And if you've got a little bit of money to spare now, as people have, you can come and buy this because this is for sale. That's for sale, yeah. And if you haven't got enough to buy this, you can buy one of these lovely Yaris today. Exactly. And you've been busy, busy sorting out the GR run. It's nearly time. We need to look uh, forward to going. But uh, where are we going today? Um, well, me and Chris have, have organised a bit of a loop, so we're going to go around some of the classic well stages and some rally stages and... Um, you know, give people a bit of a thank you. Um, Are we stopping for lunch? Yes, yeah, stopping for lunch. Where of course, we're we going to stop for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Come we'll you go. And yeah. then we're going down to Moch, Elan Bali. Yeah, exactly. So a and out over the Epping to start with. Yeah, Epping to start. Fantastic. Yeah. So, as I say, rally stages, and it's what the car's built for. And, and I asked your dad the question, how many Yaris GRs have you sold? A few. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very closely guarded secret. Thank you, Jace. Cheers, Harry. Great stuff. Hello. To get in. Was he left to the seat? That was all right. What the f got it. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a god, then. Have a bit of fun. All right, thanks. We're looking later on. Um, garage there over 30 Melvin, man. I went in, Sandra Stead. I went in, Antimoch. I went in, Illy Valley. 10 times we're doing it again. I'm Melvin. Scott, they put in. Did you just send lessons? Oh, yes. They were a map there. 
bro didn't mean about it. Oh, f daddy. Daddy. I think what they do anything. I don't know where you are. Oh, for f sakes. Up over the bridge, turn right. So it's on the way. Up the main street. See what's hitting me in, right? That's the one on there. Yeah, Italian. It's out here. It would just say, I don't know, though. It's not that bad. I don't know, it's so good. You're serious. Don't know, Toys R Us. Who turns and says, say it, read it out, and read it out, and read it out. Then we think, well, the beach room. Man, good. You don't trust the bridge, we should have to also ruin the door to do it if you will. Yeah. And how to say, good card. Oh, well, good card. Huh? Oh, people do that. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll cut to it. Did you see quite a little bit there? Uh, definitely. And then later. Why farm would you do? Nah. Them uh, farm ones. Good job, you get. Is that right? Good, you know. Track. Real track. Sports, yeah? No. Then that's sit in England anyway. If you press all them three switches together, you'll switch all the aids off, all the traction above paint off. But that's IMT now. When you change gear, it'll rip. Then it's very far, actually. Midi, midi, boy, that eeny aris ter. Eeny aris, die aris, tree aris, night arises. Yaris, yaris. Demand doi bloody front grill, see when he got his smash or a GIR, is it right? Eevee? Ah, Eevee. It's your fence up, Donny. Oh, uh, dear and dear, Donny. You had 233 quid and died. Wait, he's Jepper. Huh? But I'm his holiday, isn't he? Is he spar? Don't know why. But then a boy in Angus guy, you know, caught him like in the knee, you know, Eddie Stobat, Gwen, that. Brigitte Gwen. But the, uh, dear. Can I call Spar? Chances. Yeah, well, yeah, well, let's see, yeah, bag of something said that they're not done. I mean, well, I've got a little cloud, so she's going to throw jackets and coats and pretty feet out, right? Then we fit your name, one leg, or Thomas, we should know. Then we fit your teeth, and see, you see, that it's not bad, man, they're all in car wash. So, good for you? Yeah, good to you, that's. I think I've discovered. Well, then I'll be able to plan and do. Nice jacket! Yeah, if you need to do that, you'll cruise for the Norwegian Fjords. We are misses. I'm having a breath. But the end of the book, man, I'm in the middle of the Fjords, right? Yeah. After a boy, you know, Howard Davis. Yeah, I didn't know that. He said, I was in Western Park, you signed my my car, I got a 70, but we're over there. And I'm boy, I'll wait till that. So this minute, do the Howard? We need more cruise in, right? Do you know? What do you think? Um. They might just be a guy gaff. But I think if we worked with a few, yeah. it would have been a good life. Yeah. Put what people go on cruises. Newly weds, overfed, newly dead. White elephant. Ah? Yes, sir. Yeah, let's go. Get an iOS, ma'am. Set a phone ready to the end. Did he call me one? Yeah, just let it in the Pretty good, uh, pretty good thing, yeah. Just get to sit with, always. I don't do it by height. Yeah. Uh, right there, then it, it's here, Scott. Yeah. The Scott and the Tiki, the pot, or something. I'll say you might, yeah. They call it the back hand. Let's see who in the army clutch controller. Do you know for a clutch? Really? Oh, no, oh, it's... Wait, well, it's more aggressive. Huh? Wait, well, it's more aggressive. Would you end up getting an aggressive wit? Oh, the bus. Would you dial up on it? Would you be an innocent? Ah? Be a jet of all men. Busy matter, be a jet of all men. Ah, this is stuff I have straight away. John doing it. Just a busy operation. Operation, the. Uh, why I'm not at home. Say so what you've been doing in operation, well, I did. It's in the neck, is it? Did you ever tell me I'm not here today? Yeah. Did... Well, should we in a tally? Club and tally, yeah. A club and tally? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we did a club, Scarlet's? Yeah. Did you do only? Maybe. Follow the man in front, he looks like he knows where he's going. That's the famous saying. Yeah. They see, they, they don't know, Malcolm Wilson, who brought root bread. I said, and, um, and Vic and Spine. Follow that bloke, Matthew, he looks like he knows where he's going. <laughs> <laughs>
I think it turns out some driving to his house. Oh, you see, man. Should we finish seeing that? Oh, it's kind of those years. The Ennis Championship. Yeah. I got on Gardell. No, you're not. Wrong of Ivory then. And as he can make easy phone call, get a gaffer. What are you doing? Why didn't you come up? And you can present some awards and host the host the presentation for us. On your night of presentation, Matt, I got. Uh, I have you got any questions from the floor? I got the point. We feel so simply, Rory. Rory, yeah, well, Rory. What's your question? What do you do then, Rory? Oh, I work in Super Assembly. All right, what do you do then? Well, I put the doors together and I put the window winders on the doors and they make all the doors up and then the doors go to the build and then they go on the car. So what's your question then? Well, I want to know how many doors I need to make next year. Are you staying, Seb, or are you going? <laughs> well, on the, I mean, if I went, oh, we, we, well, well, as it happens, Rory, we were just going to ask that question, but you've done it for us. Seb, can you answer Rory's uh, question? Oh, yes, I think I can stay. Great. Mouth in the contract, back pocket, bush. I've done nothing with you. That's how it happened. Oh, I've done amazing. I'm on pretty brilliant. Give me some notes, then. Bad with one left. Ah, uh, the three right of a great caution. Grass crush with a bit. Is that a typical cut? 50. All three left. Into. Okay. Great three sharp for crest. No cuts. Cut left, three right. Trick out on, we want to go left there, do we? No? Sorry, I'm following the guy in front. front right He's letting the bit home now. Flat here, flat here, flat here, flat here, flat here. I don't like kids, I don't like kids. Give me your don't I don't like kids. Give me your don't like kids. I don't like kids. I don't like kids. Rally driver, navigated from Quintaf. He drove around slow, did he? Oh, no, but it didn't. It was, I didn't like it. Don't trust me. Well, probably that's about it, yeah. I don't feel confident with you. Why? Well, you, you told me. Yeah, I'm today perfect with you, I'll do it. Do you know what I'm saying? It does. Flow, Lee. Right, I'll help. a big night, do you Oh, a dog? Session. Oh, session. <laughs> Pissing or sick? Pissing or sick? Hey. Oh. We're <laughs> driving so hard, man. Oh, Pongero, Pongero. Pongero, I'm going to I went to speak in one of their dinners, and we f***ed Marshall hotel tell them at the end, Keith Lee. A hell of a night smashed today. I got um, Try and get Gwyndaf to come. They had asked him, or they did go So, now some kind, they see phone, you know, what are you doing tomorrow night, Marsh? All of this, Marsh. Fancy coming to Keithley with me for the mentally do? Oh, oh, they have asked. What are you doing then? Nothing much, right? I'll pick you up. Okay. So, we went as well in a hell of a good night. Yeah. I got in United a deal, £500. I'm in, right? Yeah. So, I had a piss one, yeah. not son. Got a hotel, we're going into town on the beer now. Yeah. Uh, one of the boys comes to me and f them up in my pocket too. The other one, I think, went. The other brother, one, and I'll red proud, Trossel. Oh, well done, I would have a good night. Here's your money. F so, and the boy one, and he'll be the other one. I can't do this, it's bad. So, this is for me, Ed. Paid me twice. Granda, no answer, no answer. Message. Ed, you boys are either f far too rich, far too f stupid, or far too pissed. Both paid me last night. I'd leave in the hotel in, in, at 10 o'clock. If you want to come and fetch the money back, please come. Yeah. So, um, so, we'll see near, but they, so we jumped to the car, we went a bit in a cattle, he said, to get another thing on a race. So, the only Laura Ford one, but Jester, phone head. Oh, all right, I was. Are you still there? No, I said I've gone now. Oh, I've just come into the hotel to fix some money. Didn't realise brother paid you. Oh, that's it then. Stop doing din again, no? Apparently, it's because I drive like a twat. Good. Carry on. So? Yeah. You argued yet? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Every time I put my foot down, he's going like a twat, isn't he? Oh, it's still, it's still recording. Red light in. Yeah. Ta da. quite cool to have all the analysis go over there down at the same time and then I was sort of thinking.
ਕਿਤਨਾ ਬੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਣਾ ਫੋਟ ਪੀ ਉਹਨੇ ਅਦੀ ਕੇ ਦਰ ਯਾਰ ਸੈਸ ਯਾਰ ਆਈਸ ਐਂਡ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਰੇਟ ਕ੍ਰੀਟ ਵੈਲ ਦਾ ਵੇ ਤੇ ਨਿਕਲ ਹੋਈ ਲੈ ਦਿਓ ਸਵਾਨ ਆਰ ਉਹ ਨਾਮ ਚਮੋਖ ਐਲਾਨ ਵਾਲੀ ਅਬ ਗੁਐਸਨ ਤਖਰੀਬਨ ਹਾਈ ਆ ਜਰਾ ਗੁਈ ਖਵਾਜ ਅਮੇਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਖੋਲੀ ਯਾ ਪੇਉ ਟੀਮ ਵੈਲ ਔਰ ਯਾਰਸਟਾ ਬਕ ਜੋਲ ਅੰਦਰ ਹੈ ਆ ਗੈਸ ਇਵੈਂਟ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਦੀ ਇਟ ਆ ਵੈਲ ਕਰਾਚੀ ਇਨ ਦ ਵੇ ਹਾਵਸ ਆ ਲੈਜੈਂਡ ਦਾ ਹਮਾਰ ਨਾਈਸ ਦੋਇਸ ਕਮ ਯਾ ਵਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਐਂਡ ਸਬਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਬਰ ਹਿਮ ਫੇਸਬੁਕ ਨਾ ਯੂਟਿਊਬ ਉਹ ਪੇਸ ਕਰਾ ਦਾ ਕਵਰ ਵੀ ਆ ਦੇ ਰਾ ਦਾ ਮੋਬਾਈਲ ਫੋਨ ਆ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ Vela. Hey, and the garage over and out. Obel Wells. Tara. <laughs>